It's our first season in the Superliga since 2004, my friends. We've got some transfers to go through. Not many. More on that in a minute. And then we are going away to Randers FC for our first game in the Superliga since 2004. Of course it's away. Some games have already been played. We're going to try and not be in the bottom. All right. Hey there, welcome back. It's episode 40 of Dominating Denmark with BK Frem. Here we are, my friends. We've made it. Now, can we survive? A couple things to point out. You'll notice our bank balance is quite down a lot. Yeah, it's not because of transfers. It's because to do the underground soil thing, we had to take on some debt which is really unfortunate. So we've got bills to pay. We've got over a million pounds, almost 1.1 million pounds in debt. So is this how it happens? Is this how we go bankrupt again? So I've been really cognizant of that as we've gone through the transfer window. You'll notice we started with 114,000. I still have 96,000 pounds in the bank. I'm just afraid to go splash the cash on someone big and then bankrupt the club. Um, it's like, you know, 100,000 pounds, it's it's not much. It's a less than 10% of 1.1 million in debt. But it's still something, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And it gives me flexibility on the contracts. You're like, who'd you sign? I gotcha, I gotcha. Let's go take a look. Before, I, I, I want to warn you, we've lost some center backs because I was trying to save money on wages. Here we go. The outs. Krabby, Stockholm, Mickelson, and a youngster. Krabby and Stockholm because, well, they're really not that good anymore. Krabby kind of fell off. He was our captain. Uh, he's got good leadership and teamwork, but actually seeing the pitch, not so much. Last season, only saw the pitch seven times. So six eight two to be fair, but just he's a second division player. Unlikely to improve, inconsistent, has a, a, a streak for bending the rules. He's 32. It was just time. He wanted, I was trying to get him, honestly, if I, you look at the staff attributes, I was trying to get him to come on as a defensive coach for us. I would have loved that, but he wanted like 800 pounds a week. And I'm like, dude, you're making 190. He was making 190 and he wanted 800. It's just not happening. Same thing with Stockholm when you look at it. Decent signing for first division size, but doesn't feel like just lots of red negative things here. Um, last season, saw the pitch force once. So it was just kind of time. And again, he wanted crazy money to stay. And he I, I couldn't turn him into a coach because he's too young. So we we have a bit of a problem in, in the center back department. Both of our backups are gone. So Mickelson, as we talked about, is gone. Um I I was gonna see how much he'd take to stay as like a backup, but I mean he just missed her injury, four goals and twenty two, just not good enough. So you guys all said in the comments, let him go. So we're letting him go. And then this youngster just wasn't ever gonna make it, and so we said, sure, you can walk. That's fine. But we do have two signings that I'm really excited about. I've already shown you Franz Putros in the last episode, all rounder. Got him a key player contract, 1000 a week. He is our replacement for Nissen, who's still on contract with us, to be fair. Now, granted, good player for first division sides, but he's the best that we had available, to be honest with you, that we could afford. Um, Nissen is on a backup contract, so what we'll do here is available for the B squad 90 minutes because he's probably not going to see the pitch much with Gundalak here. Uh, but Gundalak also is playing in the attacking midfield role, so... But he's definitely more of an attacking midfielder. Look at the defensive stats. It's not so good, right? So we'll, we, we're going to try and play him there. So I'm excited about Franz Putros. And then Mateus Hebo. I'm going to call him Matt. Seems good. Danish. 1.4K a week. We splashed the cash on him. Defensive midfielder. We're going we're gonna to change up the formation this season. I figured playing 4-2-3-1 in the Super League when you're like the small minnow team is probably not ideal to be going like super aggressive with four people up top and so we're going to play a four one two three wide right with a dm so we're going to play a defensive midfielder really we're playing him in a halfback because he has really bad determination really bad determination 
Um, so I want to try and avoid using that. And he doesn't have very good acceleration. But he's, he we, he only played like one game and, and Infernally played really well. I really liked what we were doing with that kind of on a, a control tactic um, where we can rotate the ball back to the halfback. Quite liked it. So that's – and he's worth 57K. He's worth 57K, my friends. We picked him up on a free. Yeah, I think he's worth the 1.4K, which is essentially the 57K is the value of his contract. But – or, or not really. It's the value of one year of his contract. Anyway, I really like him. I think he's quite good. So we're good there. Um, really disappointed. Let me find this this cat here, Gustav Yeldson. Kjeldson? Kjeldson. I'm gonna go with Yeldson. That make a silent K makes sense, right? Sure. Anyway. We went to sign this guy, offered him like nine fifty a week with some sign-on bonuses. He, he takes, he gets an offer from Vendessel FF, who, by the way, sixth place in the first division last season, not in the Superliga, takes it because he wants an extra fifty bucks a week. Seriously, would have been nice. Twenty one, you know, like hey, maybe we should have offered more. But I was trying to offer him like a rotation backup contract. I want to, you don't want to make these guys mad, right? Like, so if you look at our our lineup here, movements on five hundred a week. Skullguard's on 300 a week now. Kaltoft, we're, we're loaning again for the next six months. We hope his contract's going to run out because um, they wanted something like 180,000 pounds for him, which is just absurd. He's not. He's worth 2.8. Come on. Come on. So um, we're, we're loaning him out or we're loaning him for 650 a week. We've promoted Lace Scove here who is okay, and we're hoping that being surrounded by good teammates is going to improve his capabilities. He's on a youngster contract. We might want to change that. 130, yeah, I'm not even really going to look at this. You can have a 5% raise, sure. Yes. So no one snatches all, because we are kind of short on center backs at the moment. Um, we've re-signed Ryder Peterson. I'm trying to think who else was missing here. I guess that's not going to show it, is it? So we could have the longer contracts. We promoted a uh, camera guard. We signed Hebo. Scove just got a contract. Donyo staring. We did bring back Johannesson and Peterson because we needed some depth. Um, we are stuck with Daniel Holm. And he had to be registered in our squad because he's like, I don't know, it's like home. I can't remember if it's homegrown. Whatever it is. He's been here a while. Nation. Anyway, he's registered. He's still worth twelve and a half thousand. I'd love to sell him as soon as his leg heals, which is in three weeks. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I really need to show you. Vito, oh, sprained his ankle. He's out for four weeks. That's crushing. That's a crushing way to start the season. So can't do anything about it. So he's injured. We've had Scovegard injured. Jakobsen's been in, or just injured, just like twisted ankle, something like that. Home, obviously, and Cameras Guard is twisted ankle for four weeks. So preseason, I didn't even go like high on the the um the training. Like it wasn't I, it was just average. Just going average. Nope. Nope. Yep. It, injuries. I'm just looking at the, the highest earners now. Hebo, Putros, Peterson, uh, Vito, Johannesson's at eight hundred a week. He doesn't deserve that. But it's one of those things like I, I kind of needed a left back, and he could also play center back, which is really handy right now. So mm, there you go. But you got to think like the guys at the bottom here, um, Jorgensen, 150 a week. His agent did try to get him a new contract because someone came in for him, and I was like, you should fire his agent, fire your agent. He was like, okay. And then he hired someone just like the other agent, so I'm sure it's going to come back up. Um, but George is on 375 a week. I'm sure he's like, hello, hello. Like I started a bunch of games for you. Can I get a raise? But it's like, eh, man, we're just trying to watch the, we're just watching the finances, okay? Uh, let's take a look at the tactic here. We got staring up top, Gundelak and, and God's way on the wings. George is playing that box to box midfielder while Vito's out. Reiner Peterson is is taking George's spot, so they'll all kind of Reiner Peterson will drop it. George will move that way, and Vito will come right in here when he's back from injury. He was playing here. Lawrence and Kaltoft, Moomin, and Putros. So that's our team this season. We're going control structured, play out of defense, exploit the left and right flanks, looking for the overlap. I'm thinking if we get two wingers, maybe that's a good idea. Retaining possession because, you know, right. It's, we're the small team. 
So we're away to Randers. That's good. Good play away game. Your first game in the Super League is 2004. Who, who wouldn't want that? So getting some cash money. So yeah, that's nice. The thing I'm going to miss, to be honest with you, is uh, you don't get like the payments throughout the year. At least as far as I can tell from the rules of the Super League. It's like all at the end. If you get relegated or whatever, whatever your position is, that's when get the payment comes in. So that's kind of annoying. All right. So we have a chance to go to fourth or fifth place my friends veal recently promoted with us veil i can't remember i'm sorry you're gonna leave me a comment i know you're like, guys or you're like dude we've told you like nine times it's like, I, I know i know got a lot going on okay got a lot going on i've been trying to get through this well oh, four to one on <laughs> i'm sure playing control is gonna be great uh yep sure I'm not going to re-overact. I think that's a good thing to say for this type of game. I uh, don't think we're going to try all that. don't think we're going to try all that. Maybe we should. I don't even know. It's the first game of the season. Let's keep it simple. Um, I'm not going to say pull off an upside. Let's just go show them what we could do, boys. I believe in you. Mostly-ish. Manager was on the side like going like We could really use a center back and it can you open the stats. Can you come down here, mate? Yeah, I don't know what this accent is, but could you come play center back for us? Heads it right back to him and then takes his legs up. Nope. Nope. Oh, they're quite good. Mmm. Mmm. Right. I mean it, it's it's tough when you're used to winning to suddenly not to be good. We're at 43% possession. <laughs> we're, we're out of control. We're tained possession. <laughs> good luck. Oh, no goal! No goal! We got our first goal of the Super League season. It's tied 1 1. I knew they were going to come true. And you didn't believe. The guy up in the stands didn't believe. He didn't believe. Yes, right. Watch that again. Good luck. Mm, look, really bad pass. I don't know what he's thinking there. But it works. It was all part of the plan. He knew that guy was is more likely to give up an own goal. Bro, I gotta learn all these team names. How to pro oh makes oh gets aggressive. Who was that? Putras tries to be fancy. Hey, somebody near post. We got three guys, including the goalkeeper, standing there. We can't defend the near post. Hmm. Nobody. Let's watch that again. That was pretty pretty bad. Kolovos. Oh, I tried to clear. <laughs> so we got to the ball. We just cleared it into our own legs. Oh, this is... Is it going to get out of hand? Is it going to get out of hand? Who's that? George. Oh, off the hook. Oh, he's offside. Okay, lads. Oh, we have had possession. We, we are... Okay. Oh, okay. That seems aggressive, doesn't it? I, I don't understand what happens here. Um, yeah, let's close him down, sure. Winning most of the headers. I, I, not gonna, we're not gonna go bombing the ball for it. I don't think that's gonna work here. Uh, Casper Fisker needs a marking. You know what? Let's just try this. Okay. Sure. Sure. Maybe coach is like, listen, I told you, I told you what you do. 58% possession. Control. No, don't get a... Mm. Okay, Yule, that's fine. <laughs> I knew he was going to get it. All right, we got a half chance. We've had no, no shots on target. We have a goal. Right. That was a good first half. Um, hmm. I'll just say unlucky. Why are you abysmal? Relax, mate. You're the backup goalkeeper. It's... <laughs> get it together on the sideline. Staring, though. Look to gain confidence. Yeah, you kind of need to. You're on a 6.3. It's starting to rain. That's really good. George politely heads it down for them and kind of gives them a bit of a pass. Okay, let's check. Let's check what we're doing here. Staring on a 6.3 is not doing very well, my friends. Eric Markson. He, he comes in, and everything changes, apparently. Okay. 
Let's, is it going to change back? No. Okay. Staring. I mean, you kind of can't blame staring because he's kind of up there on an island. Hebo's not playing well. Oh, I didn't forget. It's bringing Anderson. Let's just go for it. Let's just go for it, my friends. Not an attacking midfielder. Sorry. It's like, what is going on? Let's go. Let's go, people. Can we nick a goal? Do we need to bring in Ogood and put Danyo? We'll see. Let's, let's, let's get staring a little bit of help up top. Someone to pass the ball to him so he's not out there on an island. Oh, I thought this was our end there for half a second. Okay. Okay. It's fine. They didn't score. Be disappointed. It's fine. I think we're going to take staring off. Not the optimal start to the season for him. Okay. Danyo up top. A good on the wing-ish. He is right-footed, isn't he? He can play a little bit of an inside forward. We're going we're gonna to trick him. They're going to be like, what's going on? What's this inside forward stuff? Or we can play him up top. Hmm. I think we're going to take Ryder Peterson off. Bring on Foe Jorgensen. Good old Kevin. And we might as well go attacking. I guess we'll take the look for the overlap off. Let's take that off. Let's stop retaining possession. Probably going attack is a bad idea. But, you know, we're already down 2-1. We might as well go for it. My friends... Let's give a little pep talk. Let's say passionately push forward. Anybody? Anybody want to? Any, no. There's enough time here. Stamatov. Oh, what was that? Like a catapult leg. Yule hoofs it forward. George to new one. Even though we have an advanced playmaker, why did you drop back that far? That's not being advanced now, is it? Kultoft making me nervous. Clears it away. Can we just get the ball forward? Can we get it on the ground? Step one. No. Brun. Stay. Quite. Quite a shot. All right. First game of the season. Not exactly what you want to have happen. Uh, we'll just cautiously say... We were just unlucky out there. I don't want to crush their confidence early. That'd be bad. So we're in 10th place. Could be worse. We could be in 12th based on the goal differential. Or 13th because we didn't. No, we scored. So we'd be in 12th. It's fine. It's fine. All righty. I think that's where we're going to end the episode there. Um, oh, they're quite good. Those are two televised games. I don't think we're going to win those though. We might... Let's. I guess we'll do the home game. I, they're so good, though. I, I, sure. We'll do the home game in the next episode. That's on television. And then let's do uh, Vale here. That uh, got promoted with us and see if we can get a result. So we'll play some games in between. And if you've enjoyed that episode, smash a like on it. Subscribe if you're new. Let me know what you think about the signings. If you have an idea about the center backs, let me know. And I meant to show you. Sorry. Thank you for all the comments. So here's how we've set up our scouting now. We have, oh, let's take that off. We don't want to watch him now, do we? We've got uh, Ukraine for Casper Anderson. We've got Scandinavia and Eastern Europe because I'm trying to get a, a bunch of those like small Eastern European countries that might have cheap, good players for us. Austria and Belgium all set up. We're, we're doing the, um, what was that, the Euros? Yeah, the 2020 Euros. It's, it, it's already finished. Just take that off. Yeah. Um, so that's what's going on there. Thank you for all the comments on how to set that up. I think what we're going to be doing is taking off the Champions League. I don't really think we need that. We'll see. But Belgium, Austria, and I'm doing like Belgium. I'm doing youngsters. I could have done the leagues, but I was lazy. Just being honest. Austria, we're apparently... That's not... Oh, that's the Champions League. Austria, we're doing... People who could play right now, four stars, which might be aggressive. We're doing a two-star to five-star for Eastern Europe. 
Scandinavia are doing two to four and a half star because, you know, things. And the Ukraine were doing, you know, four stars where they could play immediately because they're cheap. So I'm just trying to help out the club, see what we can get done this season. Again, if you enjoyed that episode, smash a like on it. Subscribe. Let me know. Join the Discord. It's in the description. We'll see you in the next one.